Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to know, is everybody having a good time? Let's give it up for all the bands that are playing today. Come on now. And let's, uh, let's give it up for yourselves, all right? Now, last night we, uh, I got a few things to say here. Last night we, uh, we did two gigs and 200 miles apart, and then yesterday we, we got a few little tips from them gigs, you know, after Above and Beyond. We had a little left over that we uh, didn't want to split because we didn't have any change. And it's only 50 bucks extra, but we're going to take the 50 bucks extra on behalf of all the guys in the band. We're going to put it in the tip jar, okay? And that means everybody should put a few dollars in each, all right? And because uh, this uh, cost me a lot to us, all right? Not only that, I got a couple CDs here for sale, and uh, what we'd like to do is uh, sell these for as much as we can. Just put the money in here and take them now. Uh, you can leave a love offering of five, ten dollars, or fifty, but minimum, really, love offering that's going to make a difference is going to be twenty bucks. So uh, you can get a little something, but you put it in the tip jar and you come up and take it. All right? There you go. Now let's give it up for everybody, all the bands, Jerry Byrne. I saw Jerry and I saw the Ripper Blues band, my buddy Jack, and all the gang. I didn't see the other bands because we didn't get there until almost five, but I'm sure they did great. And thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here, huh? All right. Now, this song is about a guy that's got this girlfriend that runs around all the time, late at night, drinking and carrying on. And Jill just going to do a little something nice for everybody. She just put a seat in there. Everybody, come on. Thank you, Jill. We love you, baby. And she runs around, it's not Jill, but this guy's girlfriend. <laughs> this guy's got this girlfriend, and she runs around at night all the time, drinking and carrying on with men at Shooter's Nightclub with Joe Walton. But Joe found out about this girl, and he stepped aside because he knew that it was trouble. Am I right, Joe? That's right. Joe Walton, ladies and gentlemen. Second. Anyways, I was going to say like the second coolest guy on earth next to Jesus, but I might get blasphemy for that one. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, what we'd like to do now is get back with the story. This guy's girlfriend, she's been gone for maybe a week. She goes out and stays a long time, drinking, carrying on comes back around the 15th of the month when this guy gets his social security check and then she spends all his money and then she's gone. Well, she came in one particular night, hair was all messed up and her clothes weren't right. Mascara was all steered all over her face and she smelled just terrible like gin and cigarettes. She came in and she said, hello baby, and he said, where have you been? And she goes, I I was visiting my mother. She's been real sick, and I had to stay with her. But he looks at the way she's dressed. She's got a mini skirt on and fishnets and high heels and a halter top on. And he looks at her. She just got a new tattoo right across her chest that said Joe W. The other one on the other side said Joaquin. Richie Blue right across the posterior. Anyway, he sees her in his halter top and he's wondering now how'd she go visit her mother looking like that? She didn't have no bra on either. This is suspicious. He's suspicious about this. He looks straight at her. He goes, I know you got something going on. And she says, No, I don't have nothing going on. He says, You can't say you got nothing going on. Look at the way you got your makeup on, baby. Hey! 